cosmic terms, it's just an old dirty snowball, but these days its name is up there in lights all over the northern hemisphere sky. It's the great comet of 1996, and as Anthony Mason reports, it has a very bright future. Look at, look at this. The amateur telescope makers of Boston brought out their heavy artillery last night. This is a 20 inch reflecting telescope. 135 millimeter telephoto lens. It's a comet seeker. And excitedly set their sights on the comet Yakutake. Here it comes. It, it's really huge. The brightest comet to pass our planet in 20 years is now in the neighborhood, a mere 9 million miles away. Astronomically speaking, it's real close. Yeah. Uh, you don't want it much closer than that. <laughs> uh, you get the dinosaur effect. It wasn't some impressive piece of astronomical equipment that first spotted this comet out there in the skies. In fact, Yakutake was discovered with a pair of binoculars by an amateur comet hunter in Japan. Big binoculars for sure, but Yuji Yakutake himself was overwhelmed by his sighting in January. My heart started pounding, he says. I thought, if I die of a stroke here, who'll know of my discovery? See these streamers? These are, these are like In Coral Gables, Florida, amateur astronomer Don Parker has been recording the comet's path. I mean, that thing is really moving. The comet, a sprawling ball of ice, snow, and dirt, should be visible even to the unaided eye. If you have a dark country sky, you should be able to see it as a bright, fuzzy ball of cotton with a long tail. Beneath the eastern star Arcturus tonight, Yakutake will speed past the handle of the Big Dipper by Sunday and on across the sky. It's not its first visit. The comet was last here about 9,000 years ago. Smithsonian astronomer Brian Marston. Wait, let me go back. The comet was last year when? Uh, 9,000 years ago. How do we know that? Oh, we calculated it. <laughs> Yakutake is back. So pull up a chair out there under the heavens and watch a big ball of ice and snow put on a show. Anthony Mason, CBS News, Boston. And that's part of our world tonight. From Washington, for the CBS Evening News, Dan Rather reporting. Good night.